Apple today unveiled a major update to Logic Pro X with a professional version of Live Loops, a completely redesigned sampling workflow, and new beat making tools. In this video, we'll take a quick look at all the new features in Logic Pro. With Live Loops, now we can create music in new freeform and nonlinear ways. Loops, samples, and recordings can be organized into new musical grid. You can arrange and play with musical ideas in real time in a grid of cells, each containing a musical phrase or loop. You can start and stop cells. Or if you go down, you can launch entire group. Everything stays in sync with the beat and the project tempo. You can easily edit, transpose and alternate playback of each cell. Live Loops is designed for using live performance and to generate ideas. You can easily record it or simply drag and drop it into the track area. Next, let's go to the inspector and look at the sampler. New sampler represents the next generation of EXS24 plugin with new design and expanded sound shaping controls. If you are already familiar with the EXS24, you'll see how easy it is to work with samples in new sampler. Now let's go back to the inspector and look at the new audio effect. Remix effects includes a set of buttons, sliders and XY pad you can use to control real-time effects. You can play audio in reverse, stop or down sample the song and to apply a variety of other dance-oriented effects. This makes it a great tool for live performance. Now let's move on. Let's go back to the track area and look at one of my favorite features of this update, the Step Sequencer. Step Sequencer features a grid with steps you can edit to create repeating patterns. Each row controls either a sound or an automation, and this makes it very flexible, probably one of the best step sequencers I've ever seen. You can control a lot of parameters including chance and loop start and end. This way you can create polyrhythms within the same instrument. If you go to the library you can find a lot of patterns, such as bass, drums and melodic, that can be easily loaded into your step sequencer. Also you can find the templates, those will limit the step sequencer to a certain scale. You can save your own templates and patterns in user folder. Now let's create a new software track and look at the new tools available in Logic Pro. This is a drum synth. It has four main engines for kicks, snares, percussion and hi-hats. Now we can easily synthesize drum sounds we need. Lastly, let's look at the new drum kit designer. If you drag audio file or loop, you'll get a choice to create a new track using sampler or drum machine designer. Logic Pro will scan audio and detect transients. As you can see, each sound is assigned to a separate slot. You can further edit start and end points. This is a simple design change, but it makes a big difference. Logic Pro X 10.5 is a massive release for all musicians. It will definitely change the way I approach producing music. If you want to look at the step sequencer and live loops in details, subscribe to my channel. Soon I'll be sharing more videos on Logic Pro X 10.5.